everyone and welcome to a day in the life vlog. So I'm not doing weekly vlogs just at the minute because so little is going on but I thought we would do a day in the life and I have chosen a Saturday to do this because today we're going to be decorating the tree, I'm going to be wrapping some presents, we are getting festive around here, we do have some sorting out and some boxes to get rid of here in the living room first and various other things so I'll just be taking you through our whole day and what we're doing. First of all I'm going to make some coffee which is why I'm in the kitchen but we've just had a delivery as well which is hello fresh this is the first ever time we are trying hello fresh this is not sponsored it's not gifted it's not anything like that i have purchased this um i did use a code which i think got me 50 percent off this first box and some amount of money off the next one i can't remember what it is but i've been meaning to try it i feel like i'm late to the party with hello fresh <laughs> you'll have seen it everywhere and i'm very excited to try it now we've got our bigger kitchen and space to cook um, yeah, we're going to try this tonight. So let's open this box and see what's inside. So I know there will be things in here that need to go into the fridge. So I'm just going to get those bits sorted. And um, then this evening, I will obviously show you us cooking one of these meals. It seems like our recipe card is stuck over here. One second. Okay, so we have buffalo chicken skewers. This was one of their street food items. So I did have to pay a small premium for this particular dish, but I knew that Ian would really, really like this. So I got that one. Then we have the thyme roasted chicken. And I do actually have two of the same meal this week. I know that is really boring, um, but I really wanted to try this mushroom pasta and there wasn't really anything else that either of us would be particularly interested in, but I know that I would really love this. So I will probably have this second one on a night where Ian has something else. So we have that as well. I've already gone through the orders for the next couple of boxes and there were like four different things that we would get for all of those. It's just this particular one. Oh, okay. So this is the chilled goods by the look of it so they've got it in this sort of insulated thing okay cool let's grab that because that's what we really need to put away so it's kind of like a padded insulated baggy thing and we've got some rocket in here and then there's chicken some bacon lardons for one of the dishes and then we've got parmesan cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna get these things in the fridge and then later on we'll decide which of the recipes we're gonna make tonight. So I did just open up the bags as well because there are other items like mushrooms and things like that and herbs that I would definitely wanna put in the fridge. So everything is now in the fridge that should be. So I'm gonna put these away in the cupboard and yeah, I'm really excited to get going with this. So I'm just gonna have my coffee and make a plan of action. This is Joffrey's coffee. Obviously, I always seem to be drinking Joffrey's coffee lately. And this is pecan, what was it called? Southern pecan, that's it, Southern pecan. It tastes like pecan pie, it's really, really nice. And here you can see what I'm talking about with the boxes we still need to get rid of. There's like packing materials over there from the dishwasher. And this box from the range is huge. Like here is my foot so you can see how massive this is we need to break this box down and put it for recycling and once we've cleared the decks we can think about getting the tree out so most of the packaging is now removed as you can see it is all over the floor but we're going to vacuum after we put the tree up because the tree always leaves little bits of stuff all over the yeah. place the next thing we have to do is get rid of this so this was the integrated fridge that was in the kitchen there were actually two fridges and we've replaced one of them for a dishwasher so we now have to try and get this into the garage. The problem is I can't lift. So I have a plan. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna try and do what I can well, to I have help. A plan where we can do it without lifting. So we don't have like a a dolly or anything like that. Yeah. But we've got a whole bunch of cardboard. Mm -hmm. So we've got a big bit of cardboard. And we can get it on top. We can drag the cardboard. Maybe. I mean, I haven't tried lifting it. It might be that I could do it. Like, we'll see. We'll see, we'll we'll see what happens. We'll try that first, but I think yeah. it's going to be a challenge. Okay. No disrespect to you. <laughs> it is because of my TM. I'm not just yeah. like complete, you know, useless at lifting. Moments later. So we did it. I managed to move the fridge. I was very proud of myself, actually, because okay. that was quite hard. And um, I have just vacuumed this little area because I didn't want all those bits of polystyrene going under the tree. And here is the tree. So we need to get this all unpacked and put together, which is like the worst part, I think. Like, yeah, like decorating is the fun part. This tree has been with us for many years now. We're thinking maybe next year might be time for a new tree. Yeah, this, this is an old tree for sure. This tree has seen some Christmases. It always looks pretty good once it's up, but yeah. as you're putting it up, sometimes I think, oh, I'm not sure about this. 
and I do need to try and get a Christmas tree skirt, but the one I wanted was out of stock, which was a bummer. So we'll just go ahead anyway. And while we're doing this, we do have our December 2019 Disney vlogs on because that was our Christmas trip. So I think this episode we're going to the uh, Christmas party, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. So. so we thought that'd be cute to watch while we're doing this. Done. All finished. Yeah. Pretty sad. <laughs> Okay, so tree is assembled and right on cue, we have the Christmas parade at Mickey's very merry Christmas party happening from our vlog, which is very cute. Um, but as you can see, the tree looks a bit like, well, naff, like this, because it really needs its decoration. Like I say, we probably will get a new one next year. It's super old, but- It's very old. It is very old. No, don't hate the tree. So we've had multiple issues so far. We're still midway through. One of the issues is that we have two sets of lights and I've forgotten that one is much brighter than the other and these ones are warm and these ones are like white lights. Either set on their own is not really enough. So what we ended up doing was combining them um, but mixing them in together. Obviously you couldn't have like the top half with one and the bottom half with the other because that would look weird. And actually I don't I don't hate it. I think it's fine having some some warm and some white lights. But we started getting some decorations on. Obviously this guy is totally like taking centre stage as per love it and we also have a doll whip going on there i'll show you all of them like properly later i've got my 2020 gingerbread mickey and i do have <laughs> say this decoration you might remember this from last year yes it does kind of look like the creepiest thing and the stuff of nightmares and that it might come and like haunt you forever <laughs> this is pipe cleaner man and he belonged to my granddad and i remember it from when i was a kid and i just love him it used to have candles so that's what these little rings are for can you even imagine putting lit candles on a christmas tree fire hazard much but people did used to do that but yeah this is i know he is creepy and old and messed up but I love him, he's my favorite, so he definitely has to be there. Okay, we have finished the tree, or I should say I have. I did most of the decorating, because hey. Ian doesn't love doing that, but he did obviously help put it together. Don't make me sound like a Scrooge. <laughs> did, do you like decorating the tree? No. <laughs> so, we have our little fireplace going as well. This is always really cool on YouTube, you can just have a little fire. I think it's like 10 hours long, which is kind of cool. So I thought I'd give you a tour of our Disney ornaments, so... First up we have the mini ears. This one I bought, I think, from the Christmas store in Magic Kingdom, I think, ye old Christmas shop. Then we have Jiminy, and he came from the Disney shop at Disney Springs. Then we have Minnie and a matching Mickey somewhere, there he is. Matching Mickey, they also came from Disney Springs. Then we have the Toad himself, and he was from Shop Disney UK. Then this one also came from the Magic Kingdom Christmas shop, as did the Dole Whip, love that one. And also this gingerbread Mickey. These little Baymax ones, Ian's sister gave us those. I think she made them, I'm not entirely certain though. Yeah. Then we have this Main Street trash can, which I absolutely love. This one, I think actually came from the outlets many, many years ago now. Then this one is from Shop Disney UK and it's Pascal hanging onto the lantern. This does light up, but the batteries have gone. So Ian has, um, order some new batteries for that. Then we have this one, which I absolutely love. This is from Hollywood Studios. And if you pull the little thing, the arms go up and down, but I've kind of positioned it to look like that, which is really cute. Then I have a couple of Starbucks ornaments. We have this little French press coffee pot and also this festive um, Starbucks mug. And I think this was from, which park was it? Maybe Animal Kingdom. And we have a few little other ones. These ones are from Primark. These came as a set. So there was that one, this one up here and a couple of others this one down here that was part of that set as well and i think i already showed you this one um, from shop disney uk this year with the 2020 and i know it's an odd year to have a dated ornament but i weirdly felt the need to document <laughs> 2020. normally we buy an ornament in the parks and of course we weren't able to go so i thought that one was cool but yeah i'm pleased with how this has turned out it's very very cute despite being an old tree like we said we might replace it but love it Later. So I'm now in my office and I've just got out the wrapping bag. I had forgotten how much wrapping paper I actually have. <laughs> this is crazy. If you've been watching my vlogs a while, you might remember this bag that I got to keep it all in, which rolls up. Um, if it's still available, I will link it. I got it from Amazon, I think. And yeah, this is my uh, paper chase addiction in 
all its glory i know this is bad and then at this end i have all my kind of tags and decorations and all that kind of thing so i'm going to get to doing a bit of wrapping i think i also just found these which i got from ebay um i love using these to clip the tags onto people's gifts so i've got a few in here i think already but i wanted to get those santa ones as well so i've picked out what i'm going to get started with i've chosen my london bus paper i absolutely love this london paper i've got some of the pegs to go along with it these were from last year in paper chase i got some tags and i thought some of them i might use these glittery red ones then i've got a bunch of different ribbons i've got this red one and my bells up here which i like to put on my gifts as well then i've got this really cute avocado reindeer paper with the matching tags and i do also have the ribbon that goes along with that as well And there we have it first one down lots more to go and here is the second one using the avocado paper and this one's got some little bells on i just love this and i went for the white ribbon with the gold actually instead of the um, matching ribbon i just think this looks nicer so yeah I'm really pleased with how that came out 20 minutes later okay i'm back downstairs from doing the wrapping and we're just about to make our dinner using this hello fresh the lighting in here is terrible so i'm really sorry about that and we've already had a couple of issues. The first one, we are making thyme roast chicken, is that the dried thyme is not here. We've looked in all of the different boxes, the bag that the fresh stuff came in, it's, it's just missing, it's not here. So we're gonna have to use something else. And um, the only thing I could really find is this paprika and onion chicken seasoning. So I guess that'll be fine, it'll have to be. And um, I don't really eat meat at home, like hardly ever. So I'm gonna put in a couple of vegan sausages into the oven and then I'll just have like the potatoes and the vegetables and stuff with that. And Ian will have the chicken. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Ian is marinate, marinating. Marinating, marinating, I'm not it's sure. It's spelt with a T, but I don't okay. know if you're marinating. So like I've put some oil in there. I guess I'm just gonna sprinkle this stuff and then zhuzh it all around. Yeah, is that what the direction said to do? Yeah, it's said to massage Ooh, the seasoning massage. in. Massage. Oh, it's so gross. I know, that I can't touch raw chicken, I seriously can't. So we have a baking sheet here ready to put the potatoes on, which is the first um, instruction. So I'm gonna chop those up now and then I need to chop the vegetables. potato wedges are in and now in goes our veg and I did add a second carrot because I don't want to live in a world where we have to share one carrot I know that might not be what the recipe says but oh well so now I'm cooking chicken in this pan and you just do it for like three minutes on either side and then it goes into the oven with the other stuff so quickly I don't overdo it okay so now we're supposed to add our chicken to the tray with the veggies and I'm also just gonna put my two little vegan sausages on there. These ones are the Richmond vegan sausages, by the way, and they are so good. Okay, so the final stage is to mix the wedges, the vegetables, and the parsley together. Okay, so here is the picture, and here is the finished result. If I do say so myself, I think that looks- I think it looks pretty accurate. Pretty similar, considering we didn't have the time, so it's not time roasted chicken, it's no. it's this, but we'll let you know what we think of it. So, what did you think? Well, it didn't take me very long to demolish it. Yeah. So I think that's a good sign. No, it's really nice. Yeah? Yeah, really tasty. Even though it wasn't the- we didn't have the time, but- I don't think that mattered too much. Like, yeah. The chicken was really nice, and like the chilli jam was mm -hmm. like most of the flavour anyway, so cool. it was really nice. Excellent. And mine was really good too. Those sausages, I know they weren't part of the um, HelloFresh 
at all but they're really really good <laughs> so definitely try them if you don't like eating meat yeah that was good fairly successful hello fresh considering we were first hello fresh i should say considering we're missing an ingredient yeah. so yeah thumbs up and i will link in the description if you're interested in trying it the link that i give full disclosure is an affiliate link so you get some kind of sign up offer i also do get something as well but yeah based on that first one i can highly recommend it but we're going to do another one tomorrow so we'll let you know what we think of that one in fact maybe i'll add that to this vlog even though this is going to be a day in the life maybe i'll show you the next yeah. one as well yeah Hello and a very happy Wednesday to you all. I had to think what day it was there. Um, so what was supposed to be a day in the life vlog has just turned into a general vlog. Um, the reason that I didn't finish the vlog the other day is because I knew I wanted to get some more Christmas decoration stuff, which I've just been this morning to HomeSense. Um, a little quick trip to get some stuff because it reopened today or we've kind of come out of the the general lockdown obviously we're still very locked down in a lot of ways throughout the country depending which area you're in but we are allowed to go to a shop now so we went to home sense just to grab a couple of things i thought it might have been busy but it wasn't so that was really good and i just got a few things which i will show you in a bit and also a drive through costa i am so excited to have a drive through costa i never thought i'd be that excited about it but yeah it's been a while since we've been anywhere so that was really nice getting that and um, i also realized that i did not open my revolution advent calendar yesterday which was the first so i'm going to do that and also my haribo one so we'll do the haribo one first because i did remember that one yesterday what do we have today we have some winterland shapes these are so cute they're like teeny tiny little bags and this was from home sense actually and i got it for 2.99 it was down from five pounds um, not on this trip that i've just done i got it a while ago and then we have the revolution one so here is number one sorry that was not easy with one hand so i had to just open it and we have a lip gloss this color actually looks amazing does it say what shade it is a door so that is really nice and i'm going to put the boxes back in so the whole thing kind of stays as it should and this is box two and in here we have a brow gel i don't think it says what color maybe it's clear let's have a look yeah it's clear so a clear brow gel and it's quite a small one as well so this would be really perfect for travel and another thing that turned up today is my marty mcfly funko pop i ordered him months ago he was on pre-order and doc brown arrived probably two months ago and i was still waiting for martin mcfly and i thought he'd gone missing because it said it dispatched quite a long time ago but he arrived yesterday so really pleased with that i can add him to the shelf so this is one of my other purchases from home sense today which is this i don't know what is this a garland a swag what do you call it i don't know this thing anyway which was 16.99 and i think i'm going to put this along the stairs but i haven't 100 percent decided yet i also got christmas crackers and i got these penguin racer ones which is awesome um, I thought that was a little bit of a change from the usual type and I just think this will be really fun on Christmas day and I also bought this garland this one was 9.99 it's got these kind of glittery pine cones and I think I might kind of incorporate it in with the other one that is the plan anyway but I haven't totally figured out what's happening with these yet and I've had another Joffrey's coffee arrival the reason I have so many I haven't completely lost my mind throughout the month of November each weekend they had an offer for 30% off one weekend it was these flavoured coffee and then another weekend was the Disney themed ones so I ordered one lot when it was this offer and another lot which still hasn't arrived yet which are the Disney ones I know it seems massively excessive but I really wanted to take advantage of the offer so I kind of bulk ordered loads so this will last us absolutely ages so this time I got toasted s'mores and cocoa cookie oats which I've had before I love that one then I got winter wonderland which is white chocolate coconut cream and smooth caramel topped with almonds that sounds incredible then baker's dozen which again i've had before nana's apple crumb cake which is one of their um, limited editions and i've never had that one that sounds really interesting and finally of course biscoffee which i get every single time because i love it and tonight i'm going to be making this hello fresh meal which is the creamy mushroom pasta ian doesn't like this so he is going to be having something different and um, he's actually still working anyway so i'm going to get this started and then um, i'll sort something out for him when he's done okay so i think i have every Thing. I've got my balsamic vinegar, my garlic, onion, parmesan cheese, creme fraiche and the pasta and then these flat mushrooms, flat leaf parsley, rockets and these chestnut mushrooms 
and I won't use all these mushrooms because this is actually enough for two people. So I'm gonna save half of them and I'll use those in a stir fry probably tomorrow night. Okay, so first things first, I am cooking the mushrooms. There's a little bit of onion that's escaped in there, but that's fine. So I think I cook this for five minutes and then add the onion. And my frying pan is not clean, so I'm using my risotto pan. A lot of you will have seen this before. It is literally like 100 years old, but I love it. So I'm gonna use this. And I also have my water boiling for my pasta, which I'm gonna put in in a sec. Okay, so I've now added the creme fraiche to the onions and mushrooms and put salt and pepper and stuff. And now we're adding the pasta and the parsley and some of the cheese. And then you just mix it all in together. Then a little bit more cheese on top and we're all done. And I'm actually not gonna use the rocket. I don't really fancy it. So I'm just gonna have the pasta as it is. So I've had several things show up in the post. Some of them are Black Friday purchases and I've got something here that was very kindly gifted to me. And this is awesome. So you will have heard me talk about Jelly Studio Designs, which is an Etsy shop owned by Jo, who is a lovely viewer and subscriber. And she's very kindly sent me some items which are incredible. So first up are these stickers. I mean, how cute are these Disney Christmas stickers? I just... I just can't, they're amazing. She's also sent these cute penguins. Look at this one who's got a little red nose. But the thing I am most excited about are these washi tapes. Let me just get my planner and I will stick them down a little bit so you can see what they look like. Okay, apologies for the shadowy lighting, but look at these washi tapes. This Disney snack one is awesome. This is like a next level washi tape. You know I love washi tape. And then also we have this Christmassy one and it's got little gingerbread Mickeys. This is just amazing i love these i'm obsessed thank you so much joe and also joe has sent me a discount code for you guys to use so that you can get 15 percent off her shop and that is detail 15 so i'll link it in the description below head over and check out these washies because i would imagine they'll sell out pretty quick these are very cool like when you're doing your disney planning imagine having this on your pages where you're putting down like snacks and dining reservations love it i also purchased some stickers from happy cutie studio when they had their black friday sale and um, there were just some that i noticed i didn't have when I did the last plan with me. So I got these clean bathroom stickers, these game night ones, which are really cute. I definitely didn't have any for mopping floors. So I got those. I got some more of these online grocery boxes. I love these because I can put the time and which grocery store stuff is coming from. Then I got these. I just put one of these in my planner every day to write down how many steps I did on the treadmill or if I've gone for a walk outside or whatever, just the total number of steps. Then I got these little vacuum ones, cleaning the kitchen. And also I got these Christmas countdown ones, which I absolutely love. They are so so cute. And then there's always some little bonus stickers in here as well, a little sampler. So yeah, I love this shop. Again, I will link it below. And finally, I purchased a few things from Feel Unique because again, they had their Black Friday sale. One of the things, or two, I should say, are these lashes. These are without question my favourite false lashes of all time. However, they're kind of pricey. They're usually about 15 or 16 pounds per pair, which is a lot for false lashes. Um, but I got these, I think they were 30% off. So I I picked up two just because it's really hard to get these on a deal they are never normally on offer and specifically it's these samantha ones and they're from huda beauty and i got a few items i've been really really wanting to try for the longest time from beauty bakery so this was also from feel unique and they have amazing lip products i've heard really really great things and i got a few that i've been eyeing up for ages and um, i just need my other hand to open them just one second so the first thing i got was one of the matte lip whip liquid lipsticks that's hard to say and i feel like these are kind of similar to kat von d liquid lipsticks which i absolutely love it does say on the packaging that you have to use an oil-based remover to even get these off and that's one of the things that i've heard great things about is how long these last which is why i really wanted to try it so i went for this shade which is mon Cherie, which is a really nice um cherry kind of red color so i can't wait to use that i also wanted to try one of their cake pop lipsticks and these are like mini sized so they're perfect for throwing in your bag and this shade that i got is called sorbet on Sunday. So this might just look like another red, but this is much more of an orangey red. And this Monchery Lip Whip is much more of a cherry red. And believe it or not, they do look quite different on, even though they don't look like it there. And finally, I got one of the long lasting cream liquid lipsticks. And they say that these also need the oil based remover. And this one is shade On the Rocks. And actually, on the end of the lipstick, it does say that it's a lip whip. So I guess even though this one says lip whip on the box and this one doesn't, I guess they're both in the same 
kind of family but this one is one of the cream ones and this is a matte one so I guess that's the difference they look very similar in the packaging and this one's like a kind of brown color but it does have a hint of like a mauvey or mauve whichever you call it kind of color so yeah I'm super excited to try these I will let you know in the vlogs when I'm wearing them so that you can see them actually in action and these were also all 30% off hey everyone so welcome to what may be the spookiest lighting in a vlog <laughs> ever sorry about this i've got the tv on in my office and no other lights really except for something back there um as you can see we've just finished filming the reaction vlog and we also did the live stream tonight so it's pretty late um, but we wanted to get all of that done because we have a podcast to do tomorrow so it's all go very very busy um, but i think i'm going to leave this vlog here for now so give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it over the next few weeks and um, we decided not to do vlogmas because there's just not a lot going on so daily vlogging really I just don't even know what we would be showing you like it, there just wouldn't be much happening so I'll be doing several vlogs though documenting you know various days over a week and um, those will go all the way up to Christmas so anything else Christmassy that we are doing we will definitely show you um, I hope you guys are all doing well obviously it's such a crazy time at the minute I hope everyone is well staying safe and um, just yeah getting through it hanging in there and as always I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for your support watching the videos here and over on Disney in detail the live streams patreon just everything you do you guys are awesome so thank you so much so thank you for watching I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one Bye.